So if you don't know, and I've mentioned it before, I'm from Ohio. I got a farming background. I'm from the United States, and I'm always interested in farm tech. We're gonna do some farm tech right now, and I've always wanted to actually have my own little farm, little greenhouse, strawberries. I know, it's weird, I like it. We're gonna find out about how that might work in the modern industry, how I might get my own smart farm one day. Let's go ahead and go to a valve right here and see a little bit about what they do. Hello. Hello, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. How's everything going? Uh, very hectic, very busy, but I feel good. You gotta slow down a bit. You're, you're doing the farmer's life here. You gotta <laughs> relax a little bit. Okay, got it, got that's it. That's what we do. Alright, so, a valve. what is a valve? So, our company is a smart farm company that provides AI solutions to automate smart farms. Automate smart farms. Okay, perfect. So, okay, so a smart farm. What does a smart farm mean in basic terms? Well, I think smart farm is a trend these days, and I think many people, uh, many people watching, might know what smart farms are. Smart farms are basically farms that implement uh, farms, but farms that have implemented IoT devices and all kinds of high-tech devices to automate the farms. So, how does your company work into that solution? What what is your solution? So, uh, many conventional smart farms only focus on the hardware technology. And the hardware technology, it's already saturated. There's not much room for development. But so what we thought is, let's not focus on the hardware. Let's focus on the software that can be implemented into the hardware to optimize crop growth and optimize these recipes and solutions. So what kind of crops are we talking about and what kind of facilities? Is it, is it just greenhouses? Is it just corn and strawberries? What, what are the options here? So uh, I think I have to tell you that we do the whole package, we do the whole smart farm package. So we do the initial hardware installation, we do the initial ins hardware installation, and we also do the software implementation into these hardwares. So these hardwares, initial hardwares can be greenhouses, it can be containers, it can be anything. So if you have a greenhouse and you want our solution, we can install the cameras into these greenhouses and we can monitor these crops and we can replace experts so that we can uh, reduce the labor cost right. and we using our solutions you won't need any experts to manage these crops. I just saw one of the foods up there, not foods, the, the crops up there yep. and this is a new thing in Korea which I found fascinating. One of the smart farms slash greenhouses that are new are hemp farms. Hemp farms, yes. hemp farms is a thing. Is that something that your solution can work? Because it's only legally allowed to be done in small areas of Korea, right? Oh, you know well. I, I, I've done my research. You've done your research. <laughs> Just because, I, because you don't break the law, you learn the law. That's why. <laughs> All right, so that, does that work as well in, in this scenario? Do you have, because that's going to be a growing industry in Korea as well. Sure, sure. So currently, we're cooperating with a governmental uh, group called Andong Dongyeop. Yes. So it's yeah. Dongyeop. It's like a Korean agricultural governmental industry yeah. company. And we're cooperating with them, and we're growing industrial medical hemp right. in an area called Andong. Yes. And we're we're trying to expand these to Thailand and USA and many areas abroad because we believe that medical hemp it has a lot of potential not only in Korea but also in Thailand, also all all around the world. Yeah. Well, medical hemp, or even just like hemp clothing. I mean, there's so many, there's so much usage for it. It would be interesting to see how it goes. That's my only interest. There's no other interest in hemp at all. Wait, we're in America. Ah, still, Korean company, right. No interest in hemp, except for the medical usage. All right, so what's next? What's your big long-term goal? And uh, also, what's your goal here at CES? So, first of all, our goal in CES is to find partners and form alliances with fellow smart farm companies because uh, building smart farms and managing them is a big thing. And one company, it's really hard for one company to do it. So if you form alliances, we're going to be able to uh, install and manage really big scale smart farms at a low cost. So uh, each company can manage and uh, manage and operate uh, on the smart farms for what they do the best. And our long term goal is actually global expansion. And after five years, ten years, we believe that using our solution, anybody will be able to grow high value crops anywhere in the world. What, what about? I just want to make strawberries. I don't need high value. Just. I want a nice strawberry farm. That's all I want. Strawberries are actually very high in value. Oh, and especially in Korea, now yeah, that I think about yeah. it. Yeah. And in Vietnam, uh, Korean strawberries, a uh, crop named Seolhyang, is actually very famous. And Seriously? Yes, yes, that's oh. true, true. High value. You know your stuff too as well. That's pretty cool. I did my research. <laughs> well, thank you so much for talking with us. That's a valve, and you can find out more information from them. They're going to be here hopefully this year and next year, but of course, 
find out for more information uh, here, right? If they does, can they, does that work? There you go. They got some information, but also there's the there's the little QR code for you. Is that okay that I share that? I didn't sure, ask. Sure, sure. Perfect. All right. Well, thanks again. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Now we, here's where we say goodbye. We'll see you next time, everyone. Bye, everyone. Bye -bye. Check out a valve. They got the stuff.